What's up guys? Just like I promised, I'm going to do a light walkthrough through one of my fashion editorial shoots. Um, we're going to be working with two different models. Uh, right now you'll only see one in this video just to give you an idea of like, you know, how I choose my models, how I choose uh, my composition, uh, the colors and things like that. So um, we're going to have my man Dave Hall slide through and do the behind the scenes footage. Uh, let's get started. We're going to be working with Morgan Lane. So we're gonna start off with a little fashion shoot. For this series, what we wanted to do was kind of add like this Android look. So with doing that, uh, we knew that we were gonna need composition in the background. And that's the reason why we chose McCarthy's Downtown. We always call maybe two, three hours ahead, make sure that everything is still cool for us to come down, still shoot. So what we do is, you know, just have the equipment set off on the side a little bit while the model, while you sit and talk and kind of talk about direction, which direction you're going. So when you get up there, you just, you know, you're shooting, you know, you're fast. Before I check out any model, before we do any uh, test shoots or anything like that, I'm going down her Instagram feed, and I'm checking out, making sure I notice what sort of angles are her best. And I'm pretty sure she knows as well. If she can do multiple angles, if she good at emotions or exuding emotion onto the camera. We're gonna start off just getting us, you know, some test shoots going on just to see how we vibe in the studio. Um, a lot of times that's the first thing you want to do, you know, um, before you actually start jumping and doing anything where it requires the model to be like on point, very structured, you know, just vibe, just let her move, you move and just kind of like see what she can do, what she likes to do, things like that. So that's what I really like to get into first when I do a test shoot with any model I shoot for the first time. As far as equipment go, uh, what I chose to use was the Canon 7D. That's one of the cameras that I started off with, as well as the 16 35 2.8. So with the 7D, I know it's a crop sensor, so I had to go with the 16 to 35, give me a bit more of that wide angle. Um, the Profoto D2s and a two foot Octobox softbox. So the first thing that I always do is I shoot natural. I shoot natural light, you know, just to see how everything's gonna come out, um, see if it's something that I am willing to work with. But a lot of times it's showing too much composition, it's too much there. Um, and which is good, but this particular shoot, since I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing, very commercial style, um, I prefer to use some external light. I use one light to make sure that um, the light, the direction that it's coming from, is going to be the most prominent. That's going to be the that's going to be what's what's brightest on her body. And if she can she can act towards that light, if the composition of the scene can go towards that key light. So before we started actually shooting, we made sure that she was oiled down. Uh, we made sure that the softbox that we're going to use, we tested our light, made sure the light was really smooth um, across her skin. That's just one that's just one light. And then after that we made sure to test to see what, what mood lighting we needed, uh, whether or not it was gonna be like maybe a pink gel, maybe we were gonna use a gel at all. Uh, and with this one, I decided to use a purple gel. Right now, I'm a little partial to the way purple looks on black, so I, that's the reason why I chose the purple gel. Um, so we, you know, just gonna see what it looks like. Now with the other scene, when we see a lot of wood in the background, most likely I'm gonna to try to complement those colors rather than clash with them. And purple would definitely clash with that wood. Since the scene has a lot of composition, a lot of straight lines, she's standing against a pillar right now, we're gonna have her use a lot of angles. Uh, we don't, um, with this particular scene, she doesn't have to be as straight. There's already a lot of um, straight structures already, so it's great for her to sort of pop off the picture by using a lot more angles, so that's what we're gonna have her do. So shooting at an 8.0 aperture, what it does for me, it gives me um, the opportunity to really boost the light, really get that high wattage out of the Profoto D2s, and that also gives me the opportunity to uh, see that those hard lines and those hard shapes, uh, those shadows inside the model and um, throughout the composition of the photo. So just to show the difference, the vast difference between having one light and having two lights in your photo and really boosting the composition. So here we see a photo that's shot with one light. It's a great shot, um, but right now it's, it seems a bit flat. Um, it has a lot of contrast, but it still seems a bit flat because there's nothing going on in the background, you know, but when you add a little light to it or a little bit more edge lighting, a little more composition, you know, everything seems like it goes together. So once we got our light right and everything works perfectly fine, uh, we have our angles right, everything is detailed, composition is working well, uh, we got the mood lighting. After that, 
it's up to you to really direct the model. Um, if she's not already moving the way that you want her to move, it's up to you to know what the vision is. So um, whether or not you need to get out there and model yourself and show her what it looks like, um, at this point your light is already set up, it already looks good. Uh, so now all you have to do is just start to direct toward uh, forward. So the good thing about Morgan is she, she's able to move throughout the photo so that you don't have to do much work. A lot of times you might have to step in, make sure that her back is always straight, make sure her posture's good, her um, shoulders are back, make sure you know she knows what her angles are as far as chin up or chin down, uh, what angle she can do and what angle she can't do, or she's having all right guys, so Morgan, she has a lot of distinguishable features. She's tall, she's very long, she knows how to use her length. Uh, she has very good bone structure. Um, she has those pouty lips, she has those pretty eyes. So a lot of this bone structure, that chin, that jawline, is extremely important. Morgan's very good at knowing what her face looks like when she's looking at the camera. Uh, she's very good at her angles. She's very good at noticing or taking direction. And that's what a lot of models, uh, when they first start off, it's really hard to take direction. A lot of things that you do in the mirror to, you know, recognize what your angles are, that's when you, you know, that's what you show when you actually go into the studio, which is a really good thing because models, when they first start off, it's difficult to feel yourself comfortable in front of the photographer, especially if this is the first time you've worked with them, and actually work the angles you know look good. You know, you're worried about if he sees the right angle, if you do, so it's kind of hard to kind of, um, to kind of differentiate uh, who has the eye here. All right, guys, hey, look, thanks a lot for checking out this video. Thanks a lot for checking our behind the scenes video. Please go ahead, follow the awesome videographer in Cleveland, Dave Hall. Make sure you follow uh, Morgan and make sure you follow IROC. Catch you later.